most interesting thing that I think we're working on is high volume test automation. Uh -huh. I have a, a lab group headed by Carol Oliver, uh -huh. a doctoral student in the lab, uh -huh. that is developing reference implementations for high volume test automation. Uh -huh. the, the problem that Doug Hoffman and I have had with high volume test automation since I think we started trying to teach it in 1998. Uh -huh. The challenge is we can go to a conference and we can say, look at these 10 classes of techniques uh -huh. that will allow you to generate uh, millions of tests, uh -huh. uh, do automated testing for bugs that you don't know how to find by hand, uh -huh. uh, explore the program in a systematic but intensely automated way. Uh -huh. And people go, that's very interesting, but I have no idea how I would do that in my company. Uh -huh. um, we, we have tried to explain architectures, uh -huh. but it hasn't worked. Uh -huh. What we're now in the position of doing is uh, creating examples of each one of the types of techniques, uh -huh. and uh, we'll release open source code. Uh -huh. We'll release uh, an open source architecture that explains the structure of the code uh -huh. and how we would apply that to more general uh -huh. uh, situations. And our hope is that at that point, some of the folks that have gone, I just don't know how to do this, uh -huh. will have an example, maybe two or three examples, and be able to say, okay, now either I could write the code fresh, uh -huh. or I could use a tool, uh -huh. Test Architect, Selenium, Water. Uh -huh. uh, there are a variety of support tools for uh -huh. this kind of thing that you could use. Uh -huh. uh, but you have to know what to do with the tool. Right. Right. And so uh, figuring out uh, how to teach basically software design and implementation uh -huh. to assist testing uh -huh. is, I think, where we're headed. Very good. And can you define high volume testing from the methodology standpoint, what does that mean? In most progression testing, mm -hmm. you handcraft each test. Mm -hmm. You come up with a test and you say, I want to run this many times. Right. You, uh, a human designs it, mm -hmm. a human codes it, right. uh, a human runs it the first time to debug it, mm -hmm. they, uh, they document it, they put it into a, a test case control system. Right. They uh, then have the program execute the test and maybe compare the result uh, mm -hmm. against an expected value. And if there's a problem, a human comes back and mm -hmm. looks. That's not very automated. Mm -hmm. Imagine instead writing a program that will uh, um, create tests according to an abstract design, mm -hmm. uh, um, archive the tests, mm -hmm. run the tests, mm -hmm compare the tests to some kind of oracle that you've created right. and uh, report the results back if necessary right. in summary form, right. uh, of course, but individual results back to a human if necessary. Right. If, if your test design algorithm right. is general enough, right. you might generate millions of tests right. with very little human intervention. Right. Uh, there are a lot of questions that we don't know how to look at by hand. Right. Timing questions, performance questions, right. uh, memory corruption questions. Right. Right. Those lead to irreproducible problems that can right. be very serious. Some right. have been life critical. Right. That's that's I, 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 I think I think this is this is a, a fascinating area that I, I I have a lot of interest in as well in terms of we, we're going toward um, having some intelligence in automating. The design of the test. So, mm -hmm. so because what we are doing, or what we have been doing with automation, is very much manually keying and creating a script of the test. However, you do that, maybe you have a better way to do that, but you're still manually keying a step at the time, and and that is not scalable. Is that not sustainable? So, we have to have a better approach of you know, the like you say, building the test cases on on patterns or some algorithms and then use some sort of oracle to create massive number of test cases. And then on, on the output side of that, I mean, you, you also talked about, you know, the exploratory automation, uh, which is, uh, again, using oracle of some form to, 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 to check for the possibility that the result is out of range. So that could be a, a, a possible error.